Today, we want to talk about the topic ratio and proportion. Under the ratio and proportion, let's start with the ratio. We did ratio in class seven, but also here in class eight, we are also going to tackle about ratio. Uh, under ratio in class eight, first let's talk about how we can simplify, uh, how we can simplify the ratio. An example, so let's look at an example. Yeah, so that is the question. So we want to simplify. The ratio we have been given is four to six. We are told to express the ratio four to six in its simplest form. So we want to simplify. So how can we simplify this one? So first thing, we have to make this one in what? In a, a fraction form. For example, we are told four to six. So in fraction form, it will be four all over what? All over six. So First, we make this one in, in a fraction way. This one, it is in the ratio form, but this one, it is in fraction form. Then after that, now we simplify this one. So when you look this one and this one, we can simplify. We have four all over six. So there's a number that can divide the numerator and the denominator, which is two. Two can divide both of them. So let's start with the two. Two divided by uh, four. 4 divided by 2, you get 2. Then this one, when you divide by 2, you get 3. So we have 2 all over 3. There's no number that can divide the numerator and the denominator. So what will be our answer? So the answer in ratio form, it will be 2, 2, 3. So already we have simplified this one it in, in its simplest word, in its simplest form. So our final answer is 2 to 3. That is the answer. That is, we have expressed 4 to 6 in its simplest form, which is 2 to 3. Uh, after that, let's look at an another example, still under ratio, still under ratio. Let's look at this question. Juma and Farola shared 6 shillings in the ratio of 2 to 3, respectively. To mean Juma, we have Juma, we have Farola, so these two people, we have been told that they shared this amount of money. So in the ratio of two to three, respectively the way they are. So to mean Juma got two, this one, three. So that's the ratio, two to three. To mean Juma got two of uh, two and Farola got three. So first thing we have to know, the fraction which Juma got. That's the first step. The first step, you have to know the fraction in which Juma, the fraction that Juma got, and the fraction that Farola go, got. How can we do that? First, the total fraction is, you had this one plus this one. For you to get the total fraction. So the total fraction here is five. When you add two plus three, you are going to get five. five. To mean Juma got two over five of the money, then Farola got three over five of the money. I've said the first thing, class, the first thing is to get the total fraction, the total amount, the total fraction. The total fraction here is five out of five. Okay? When you add this plus this, you are going to get far five. So the fraction that Juma got will be two of uh, all over five. Then the fraction that Farola will get is three over over five. To mean now the fraction of this person here is two out of five. Then the fraction here is three over five. So now we know the fraction which Juma got, and also we know the fraction that Farola got. Farola got. So now this is we have said two over five of the money. The money that was shared was sixty. So for you to get the amount that Juma got, you are going to get the you are going to multiply the fraction uh, with the ma the amount that they shared. So that is, the amount that Juma got will be two over five times, you multiply by the amount they shared, which is 60 shillings. That one is for Juma. For you to get that one of Farola also, you are going to take three over five, that is the fraction that Farola got, times the money, which is 60 what? Shillings. So let's work out this one. 5 divided by 5, 1, 5 divided by 60 is 12. So you multiply 2 times 12 shillings, you get 24 Kenya 
shillings. So that is the money that Juma got. Then let's talk about that one of Arola. Five divided by five, one. Five goes here. How many times? Twelve of time. So you multiply this times this. What do you get? You are going to get 36 Kenya shillings. So this is the money that Farola got, and this is the money that Juma, Juma got. Uh, be still under the same question. Uh, the question is, how much money did each get? So when we talk about how much money did each get, this is the money. So first question, what fraction did each get? So this is the fraction that each got. Then question B, uh, how much money did each get? So how much money did each get? So this is the money that Juma got. This is the money that Farola, Farola got. Then what percentage? So let's look at question. Uh, so the question B here was, how much money did each get? So when you are asked how much the person, each person got, you just multiply, you take the fraction, you multiply by the money that they shared, that is for Juma, and also that of Farola, you get the fraction, you multiply by the money. You get the amount that Farola also got. Let's talk about the percentage of money, uh, what percentage, that is now question C, what percentage of the money did Juma get? So we want to know the percentage of the money that Juma got. So the money that Juma got here was how much? Was 24 Kenya shillings. Out of what? Out of 60. So percentage of the money will be what Juma got, which is 24 Kenya shillings, all over the total amount which was six then you multiply by 100 what 100 percent because we are converting the money into percentage and the total amount that they shared was 60. so the money that juma got was 24 kenya shillings out of the total amount of money that they shared then you multiply by 100 percent because we are converting the money into percentage so zero goes with zero okay then uh, six one six here how many times uh, so four times. So then four, you multiply by 10, you get what? You get 40%. So the answer is 40%. The same thing if you ask oh, that one of Farola, the percentage that, what percentage of the money did Farola get? The same thing, you take the money, you put out of the total amount of money that they shall, then you multiply also by 100%. But from here, still you can get the percentage that Farola got. That is 100%. You subtract from 40, you get 60%. To mean this person got 60% of the ma of the money. Let me just repeat something here again once more. Uh, Juma and Farola, we are told Juma and Farola shared 60 shillings in the ratio of 2 to 3 respectively. So the question was, what fraction did each get? So these people shared this one uh, in the ratio of 2 to 3 respectively. To mean Juma got 2 and Farola got three. So when you are told to get the fraction, you just add three plus two, you get five. Then that is the total ratio, which will be five out of five. But Juma, we are told, to, uh, we are told that uh, he got two, so the fraction of Juma will be two all over five. That one of Farola will be three over five. Then when you are asked how much money did each person get, you just take the fraction, you multiply by the money that they shared. You are going to find out that Juma will get 24. Farola is going to get 36 Kenya shillings. That is the end of our lesson today. Uh, please make sure that you do the exercise that is appearing on your screen and you submit your work at the right time today. Uh, please stay safe uh, during this pandemic so that is coronavirus so that we protect ourselves from spreading the disease or us getting the disease.